Before we wind up on the topic of HOCs, I want to discuss two things. The first one is about passing down the props. In app component, I'm going to pass a name prop on the click counter component. Name is equal to Vishwas. Now in click counter, I will render that name prop. This dot props dot name. If you go back to the browser, you can see that the name Vishwas is not displayed. And this is a common mistake that happens when you start off with HOCs. The problem here is that when we specify props on the click counter component, the props are sent down to the HOC and not to click counter. In the HOC, in the render method, if I console.log this dot props dot name and take a look at the developer tools, you can see that for click counter, we do have the name prop set to Vishwas. For the hover counter, it is undefined since we are not passing in any props in app component. So the prop is passed to the HOC, but not to the component that is wrapped. To fix this issue, you need to pass down the remaining props to the wrapped component using the spread operator. So what is happening here is that the HOC adds two props to the wrapped component and then simply passes down whatever remaining props have been specified. In our case, it passes down the name prop. If you now go back to the browser, you should be able to see Vishwas as part of the button text. So when you create HOCs, please make sure to pass down the rest of the props. The second thing to discuss is passing parameters to the HOC function. In our HOC, let's say instead of incrementing the count value by one, I want to increment it by different numbers for both the counter components. We can do that by passing a parameter to the HOC function. So the arrow function will now have two parameters. The first one is the wrapped component. And the second one is the increment number. Instead of incrementing the count by one, we will now increment it by the increment number parameter. Back in click counter, I will add a second argument, which is five. And then in hover component, I will add the second argument as 10. If you now go back to the browser, I click on the button and you can see that increment is a multiple of five. I hover and the increment is in multiples of 10. So it's really easy to make some parameters into an HOC. Well, that is pretty much what I wanted to cover on HOCs. You might come across HOCs in some popular React libraries, for example, connect HOC in Redux, with router in React router, with styles in Material UI, and so on. It's a nice little pattern that can be used to share common functionality between React components. All right then, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.